Hey everybody, Troy here from Troy's Hobbies back again. So I got a couple fixes for the kayak trailer and the kayaks. So need a, it's still a little cold, but it's a beautiful day. Look at the weather. It's like, it's gonna be, it's supposed to be in the 60s today. This is gonna be the high so far for spring here in Eastern Washington. Lake, lake level's going down. In fact, soon the boats might not even be able to uh, launch. So, but hopefully I can get in there with my kayak because it's so low. The ramp is like, almost like this. All right, first thing, <clears throat> is I got to replace the skeg. The skeg on the other one is all right, but I ordered four skegs. This is a three hole skegs. Check out one of my other videos for the model number. But this fits uh, three different model predators. But one thing I forgot to do was I needed on this one, I needed new, you know, the screws. And so, and of course I forgot to order that and I live out in the country. So the, the nearest hardware store that will have it is 60 miles away. So this is going to have to easy, easy fix. I just need the right screws. So that's number to happen. So that's number one, which is I got to hold off on. Next, now this here, number two, I had a, a viewer that saw my kayak trailer build last season. He actually messaged me on YouTube. And at the time, I re really wasn't having an issue with it. But now that I've been using it, and uh, especially after my back wears out and I'm really tired and I'm hump, you know, humping the uh, kayak up on the trailer, it starts to rub. Now the back here is not, an, is not much of an issue, and it's not something that you really see until you strap it down. As you strap it down, then that gap there disappears. But it's mainly the front part, because the front end of the uh, kayak is lower. But what I'm going to be doing... As I already marked it, this is my center. Basically, I'm simple. I got already have bolts here. This one's easy. I just need to add a bolt here to secure this in place. And I'm just gonna take my sawzall and cu cut a gap here and here so that I have a little more room uh, for, the, uh, for the kayak to move about without making contact with the bar here. So that's on my list to do, really simple. I'll show you the front here. That's why I left one kayak up there. Same thing here. I'm just going to cut that out. Leave a space here. Bolt here and here to keep the uh, the bar in place. Really simple. But here is where you can tell. That's for me having to strap. When I strap it down, you can see the keel easy. It pops out. That's from pressure. Once I strap the uh, put the strap on and push down on it, it pops out. But you can see here, there's... There's, actually, it's not. There's hardly any gap. Maybe three millimeters. So it keeps popping the keel easy out, which I don't want to happen. So I, as you can see, I'm going to cut out the bar here. That will give it enough room to uh, move about without making contact with the trailer. So bring it down here. You can see where it's making contact. It actually damaged the uh, keel easy guard. The keel easy. So I'll fix that by cutting this bar out. That's all I need to do. Maybe two or three inches. And number three on the list, to-do list, is adding these, uh, I guess it, these would be 90 degrees. Now I believe they make these in the gray for this type of plastic. I, I don't know my plastics that well. I know, I think this is ABS. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but uh, the local hardware store sold these black ones and they're like five six bucks but I do believe they make them for this type of plastic but I think they're like almost ten to fifteen dollars and they don't have them locally I live out in the country the nearest big fancy hardware store is about 60 miles away so I'm gonna see if I can get away with using these the store told me to use ABS cement so I don't know if it will work or not they said it's supposed to be for this but I don't know if this We'll work on this and if it doesn't work if there's if it doesn't uh, stick then what I'll do is I'll just put some screws in on the bottom and that should be good to go I actually had comments and uh, messages on YouTube about this and so this is my fix for it so all you got to do is either glue it screw this in and just put this on this is temporary but people were complaining and I'm getting a little bit of rub especially uh, depending on the angle of the ramp you'll start getting wear here on your kayak from the contact from the uh, 
the top of the corners here, which is pretty sharp. So hopefully this will this will fix it. So when you raise your kayak up kayak up on it, it'll just glide up. So there's all right, there. folks. First thing we're gonna do is I mark center where the uh, kayak will be touching. So I know to work off that. So what I'll do is probably work about an inch, an inch and a half off of each side. I'm a bolt. Let's see if you can see down here. You can see here I have holes, which is perfect. So the center is here. And so I'm probably going to cut off, cut about an inch off of each side, an inch and a half. And then the nearest bolt, that's where, it's very simple. I'm going to bolt it down and then cut just with a sawzall, nothing fancy, and get rid of this bar that's making contact with the kayak. Very simple. Oh, perfect. All right, folks, update. My neighbors came over and gave me a, a hand when the sun comes out. Neighbors come to help. I got great neighbors. But uh, originally what we were going to do is just cut the sides off and leave the, the middle part down. But what happens is as we start started bending it, it broke. So we went back, reverted to the original plan and just taken out the whole piece. Now all I got to do is I got some stainless steel hardware. I'm just going to act because there's only one bolt here. I'm going to bolt, put another bolt down here and another bolt here to make sure that this doesn't move, especially traveling down the road. So all I'm doing now is I pre-drilled a hole here, and I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this in so I got some uh, strength. Also, I'm gonna add another one here. I don't like just one bolt holding this one side. So I'm gonna add another one here also. But pre-drill first so you don't crack the two by four. All right, folks, update. This is where we're at now. Almost done, actually. So we took a Sawzall, took this piece all the way out, and then I added extra lag bolt uh, to, to make sure that it's sturdy on, you know, two on this side. And then, of course, I got a few here. So we're all good to go, all four of them. One, two, and underneath the kayak. So next, I'm going to put these uh, 90 degrees on, on here. I took some sandpaper and roughed it up a little bit. And I'm, I got some uh, glue there. I'm going to glue this on. Oop, wrong way. Sorry. So I'm going to glue this on, on uh, all of them, and that will help with the, uh, you know, depending on the angle of the uh, bolt launch, uh, some of them can be really steep or even uh, not steep, but almost flat. And so when you bring your kayak up, it's basically tearing into the kayak and rubbing out here. So, and I think some people asked me about that. And so this would be a fix for it. So we're just gonna glue this on. So that's what we're gonna do now, glue it on. All right, next part. I already cleaned the, uh, the pipe, so I got some glue here. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue the two different plastics together. If it doesn't bond, uh, then I'm just gonna put some screws underneath and that should be fine. But that's uh, next. making sure it's straight. Oh yeah, that's bonding. I was worried because it's ABS plastic and then the other one would be what, PVC I believe, the conduit. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not familiar with my plastics, but anyways, I can feel as soon as I put it on there, it's, it is, uh, it's bonded. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other one. So this has been sanded down, cleaned it off. Same thing on the inside of this. I sanded it with some rough sandpaper just to give it more grip. Now make sure you don't uh, puddle. If you puddle, that will ca cause a weakness in the plastic. So it doesn't take much. This is not holding water. Just wanna bond the two pieces together. 
and a little bit on the inside here. Make sure there's no puddling. Make sure you have it on straight. Put it on. Hold it in place for a few seconds. That is it. That ain't moving. Yeah, look, that this ain't moving anymore. So it worked. I didn't have to put any screws in. There you go, all four of the 90 degrees are on. The ABS uh, glue worked just fine. I don't have to screw uh, put any screws in at the bottom, but it looks great. That's what it looks like. So if you have issues with your uh, kayak rubbing, especially when you're loading back up, especially if you're by yourself, this might help you out. Give this a try, nice little hack, kayak hack. Well, we're basically done. I just got to do a little cleanup. Recap. Took a Sawzall. We cut this out. I added uh, another lag bolt on each side for uh, making sure it stayed uh, rigid. So lag bolt, lag bolt. I did the same thing on for both kayaks. So that's two on each side. Same thing here. I added lag bolt, lag bolt. I added more, enough room so that if I change kayaks, I shouldn't have to uh, take any more uh, metal out. But it works great. Now there is a metal bar in the middle, but it, it, it's not in the way. Uh, if you can see here, the front of the kayak is the deepest end, so that's the reason why it was hitting. It's flatter towards the middle, and a, still might come out a little bit at the back but not much so I really didn't have an issue with the back end it was the front you can see the front of the kayak that drops down so that's what was hitting on the trailer especially after I cinched it down with straps that was the issue so now I want to show you really quick I moved the kayak forward because the making sure the glue is drying properly let's go ahead it shouldn't be an issue. I really didn't have an issue with the ki kayak in the back, as you can see here. A lot of room. The only time it would rub is when I was doing a single man load. That's when, I, as I raise it up, it would rub the front of the kayak. So that shouldn't be no issue now. I'm going to see if I need to uh, smooth the sides of that metal. But I don't think I have to. Because by the time I lift it up, the kayak will be hitting the pipes. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm underneath the kayak. This right here is the tail end. And then the middle there, you can see the bar is still there. I didn't cut the bar out, but I have a lot of room. And I don't cinch the kayak down. I don't strap it down in the middle. So that's never been an issue. And all you can see all the way through to the front. So here I am front of the kayak, front of the trailer. You can see now I have a lot of room. Even if I cinch it down, it, it, there's no more bar here to hit. And that's why the keel easy was getting damaged. I'm gonna to have to replace this section of the keel easy. I have extra keel easy. But when I'd strap it down, it pushed the keel easy out. That's why it's like that. So that's a simple fix. I'll be doing that shortly. But uh, there you go. It's a keel easy. I got a video on it if you're interested. Uh, I'll have a link towards the end for the keel easy application. But a lot of room. There you go. Well, that's it, folks, for the video. If you like this video, if it helps you out, please give it a like. If you like my channel, please give it a sub. Happy fishing, happy kayaking. Tight lines to everybody. Make sure you wear your PFD. Be safe out on the water. You guys have a good day. Bye bye.